A traditional bow or bay window is a beautiful asset to your home, providing a cosy nook or a light fold extension to a room. But measuring them for new curtain rods may be intimidating. We've put together an easy to follow guide to help you measure your bow or bay window perfectly without any hassles. Before we jump in, let's first look at a few basics. While a bay window is usually made up of a series of windows with distinct angles, a bow window is made up of several equally sized window panels installed in a gentle faceted curve. Bay windows come in different configurations. A two angle bay has one large central panel and two smaller side panels. A four angle bay has a large panel with two or more angled panels on each side. A three angle bay has three or more windows of the same size. If the angles between the windows on a bay window are very subtle, then it may be treated as a bow window. It's important to choose the right tools for the job. You will need a steel measuring tape. These tend to be more reliable than the fabric kind. A pencil, a step ladder to reach the top and our downloadable worksheet for jotting down your measurements. Before we continue, here's a quick note on the stacking of curtains. Keep in mind that you will need to add the stacking space of the curtains to your measurement. The stacking space is the area on the sides of a window where the curtains will hang when opened. Therefore, when measuring for your curtains, you will need to add how many inches you want the rod to extend past the windows to allow for the stacking of the curtains. To determine how much stacking to allow, download our handy chart by clicking on the link. Let's look at how to measure a bow window. Measuring a bow window is quite straightforward. Measure the overall width of the window A, including stackback allowance on the left and right where appropriate, and the depth B. Because of the angle, it's easy for the supplier to determine the length of the track needed with those two measurements. To measure a bay window is a bit more complex. The number of angles of your bay window will determine which formula you should follow. For a two angle bay, measure the length of each window panel A, B and C, including the inches you want to add for the stack back of the curtains on the left and right. Measure the total depth D from the front to the middle of the central window pane and lastly measure the total width E of the window from left to right. To measure a three angle bay window, measure the length of each window panel A, B, C and D, including the inches you want to add for the stack back of the curtains on the left and right. Measure the depth of the window from the front up to the join between the two left and two right hand side window panels E and G. Measure the total depth F from the front to the join between the two central panels. Finally, measure the total width H from left to right. To measure a four angle bay window, measure the length of each window panel A, B, C, D and E, including the inches you want to add for the stack back of the curtains on the left and right. Measure the total depth F from the front to the middle of the central window pane. And to finish, measure the total width G from left to right. Once you have all of your measurements jotted down on the worksheet, you can input the values on the Graeber Bay and Bow Window Curtain Rods page. All of our high quality steel traverse rods come in a durable white enamel finish. These super heavy duty rods are manufactured to your specifications to fit your windows perfectly. All measurements are in inches, so simply use the drop down menu to indicate the measurements you took in the previous step. Use the diagram on the left to guide you. You will also be asked how your curtains are going to be drawn. If the curtains are going to open to both the left and right, choose a two way or center draw. Alternatively, specify either the left or the right hand side. You must also indicate whether the rods are going to be mounted on the wall or ceiling. This will determine the type of bracketry provided, so it is essential to choose correctly. Lastly, you must choose either a single or double rod. Double rods are useful if you plan to hang an additional layer of curtaining like blackout lining or shears. Here are a few more tips that will guarantee your success. Take the measurements in the exact areas where the curtain rods will be installed. Always ensure that your tape measure is in a straight line to get the most accurate reading. When measuring around the angled parts of the window, place the measuring tape on the join between the two frames and ensure that you measure right up to the join line to get the most accurate reading. 
If your window is very skew or otherwise irregular, it is best to make a template. If you are having any trouble with measuring your bay or bow window for custom traverse rods, please send us a note at customer service at continentalwf.com or give us a call at 866-375-4500 and we'll gladly assist.